For One ist eines der bekanntesten und beliebtesten Stücke in Deutschland. Sowohl das Stück als auch die Schauspieler sind englisch. Jedes Jahr am 31.12. wird Dinner For One auf nahezu allen Sendern gezeigt. Jedes Kind in Deutschland kennt Dinner For One, obwohl es auf Englisch ist. In England ist es jedoch völlig unbekannt. Miss Sophie feiert ihren 90. Geburtstag. Geladen sind ihre vier besten Freunde, Sir Toby, Admiral von Schneider, Mr. Pomeroy und Mr. Winterbottom. Diese sind jedoch alle bereits verschieden und werden von ihrem Butler James imitiert, der außerdem die Aufgabe übernimmt, für diese zu trinken. Dinner for One is set in a large dining salon with a table set for five people, including Miss Sophie, who is seated at the head of the table on the right. A staircase is seen on the right, a serving bar on the left side of the room. On the floor between the table and the serving bar is a tiger rug, complete with the head. Miss Sophie comes down the stairs into the dining salon. Her butler, James, greets her. Good evening, Miss Sophie. Good evening. Good evening, James. You are looking very well this evening, Miss Sophie. Well, I am feeling very much better, thank you, James. Good, good. Well, I must say that everything looks nice. Thank you very much, Miss Sophie. Thank you. Is everybody here? Indeed they are, yes. They are all here for your anniversary, Miss Sophie. All five places are laid out? All laid out as usual. Sir Toby? Sir Toby, yes, sir. He's sitting here this year, Miss Sophie. No one except Miss Sophie is seated at the table, as James indicates where the four invisible guests are seated. Admiral von Schneider? Admiral von Schneider is sitting here, Miss Sophie. Mr. Pomeroy? Mr. Pomeroy, I put around here for you. And my very dear friend, Mr. Winterbottom. On your right, as you requested, Miss Sophie. Thank you, James. You may now serve the soup. The soup? Thank you very much, Miss Sophie. Thank you. They are all waiting for you. Little dropper Malagatuni soup, Miss Sophie. I'm particularly fond of Malagatuni soup, James. Yes, I know you are. I think we'll have sherry with the soup. Sherry with the soup, yes. Oh, by the way, the same procedure as last year, Miss Sophie? The same procedure as every year, James. Is that a dry sherry, James? Yes, a very dry sherry, Miss Sophie. Very dry. Straight out of the cellar this morning, Miss Sophie. James goes round the table, pouring sherry for each guest. Then he walks over to the serving bar with the sherry bottle. Tripping on the tiger rug's head as he does so, he puts down the bottle and goes back to the table. Standing behind the chair where Sir Toby is supposedly seated, he lifts Sir Toby's glass and makes a toasting gesture towards Miss Sophie, who also has a glass in her hand. Sir Toby! ch ch Cheerio, Miss Sophie. James takes a drink for Sir Toby. Admiral von Schneider. Ad, must I say it this year, Miss Sophie? Just to please me, James. Just to please you, very good. Yes, yes. <coughs> Skull! James drinks and clicks his heels together as he says Skull and reacts to pain. Ah. Mr. Pomeroy. Happy New Year, Sophie. James drinks the entire glass for Mr. Pomeroy. And dear Mr. Winterbottom. Well, here we are again, old lovely. You may now serve the fish. Fish. Very good, Miss Sophie. Did you enjoy the soup? Delicious, James. Thank you, Miss Sophie. Glad you enjoyed it. James hobbles over to the serving bar, once again stumbling over the tiger head. Takes the fish over to Miss Sophie. A little bit of North Sea haddock, Miss Sophie. I think we'll have the white wine with the fish. White wine with the fish? The same procedure as last year, Miss Sophie. The same procedure as every year, James. Yes. James goes over to the white wine, once again stumbling over the tiger's head. He gets the wine bottle and fills each person's glass. As he pours Sir Toby, he has an imaginary silent conversation with Sir Toby. Then he pours him some more wine as if he has been requested. As he takes the bottle back to the serving bar, he fails to stumble o over the tiger head, provoking la laughter from the studio audience. Then he heads back to the table and stumbles over the tiger head. Sir Toby! Ch ch cheerio, Miss Sophie m m m Miguel. <laughs> James drinks the wine from the glass of each guest as he toasts 
Miss Sophie. Admiral von Schneider? Oh, must I, Miss Sophie? James, please. <coughs> Sky! Mr. Pomeroy. Ha, ha, happy New Year, Sophie Gal. Mr. Winterbottom. You, you look younger than ever, love. By, boy, gum. You look younger than ever. Love, younger than ever. <laughs> James is now showing the effects of his many toasts, weaving about as he's hes and hesitating as he rounds the table. He takes Miss Sophie's plate. Please serve the chicken. Yeah. James stumbles over the serving bar, tripping over the tiger's head. He brings the chicken to Miss Sophie, wobbling as he does so. That looks a very fine bird. That's a lovely chicken. That I'll tell you, a lovely. I think we'll have champagne with the bird. Champagne, yes. Same procedure as last year, Miss Sophie. The same procedure as every year, James. James stumbles over the serving bar for the champagne, again tripping over the tiger head. He pours some champagne for each person, now wobbling and weaving even more than before. Sir Toby. Sir Sophie, Miguel. Admiral von Schneider. Must I, Miss Sophie? James. <coughs> Shko! James tries to click his heels, but misses and dances about for a moment. Mr. Pomeroy. Happy New Year, Sophie Gal. Mr. Winterbottom. It's one of the nice little women. <laughs> one nice little woman that's ever been. That's ever been. I now declare the desire of friend. James makes a loud burping sound. Then he grabs Miss Sophie's chair, almost tipping her over backwards. He somehow manages to take her plate of chicken over to the bar, stumbling over the tiger head as his plate flies up in the air. Would you like some fruit? Takes fruit plate over to Miss Sophie, zooming past her and halfway up the stairs, then back down again. I think we'll have port with the fruit. Oh no, same, same procedure, same procedure as last. Yes, the same procedure as every year, James. James gets a bottle of port and returns shakily to the table. He has difficulty pouring the port, sloshing all over as he attempts to pour Miss Sophie and her guests. Finally, he takes a swig from the bottle as he hops over the tiger's head. He then returns to the table, wobbling. Sir Toby! Sugar in the morning. Sugar? Admiral von Schneider. <coughs> Sko! Mr. Pomeroy. Spills glass. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, madam, sorry. Scoops the spilled port off the table cloth into the glass and drinks. Mr. Winterbottom. James accidentally grabs the flower vase and removes the flowers and drinks from the vase. Huh? Huh? Oh, I'll kill that cat. Well, James, it's been a wonderful party. Well, it's been most in enjoyable. And I I think I'll retire. You're going to bed? S -s -s Sit down. I'll give you a hand up, madam. James escorts Miss Sophie to the base of the stairs. As I was saying, I think I'll retire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B -b 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 by the way, the same sa sa procedure as last year, Miss Sophie? The same procedure as every year, James. Well, um, <clears throat> I'll do my very best. You go to my head Dinner for One was performed by Alex Kranz as Miss Sophie, Josh Saunders was James, Chris Saunders played Mr. Pomeroy and Mr. Winterbottom, and Cameron James read stage directions and played Admiral von Schneider. With thanks to Bracknell Forest Youth Services for funding the project, this was a South Hill Park performance produced by Eagle Extra. Like a sip of sparkling burgundy brew And I find the very mention of you Like a kicker in a julep or two